And good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for a Local 5 News very special program at 6.30 tonight. I'm Chris Schuler. It's been uh, 16 years since Green Bay Mayor Jim Schmidt took office, making him the longest serving mayor in the city's history. So tonight, we're going to take a look back at how the city has changed throughout his administration. Now, recently, I sat down with the mayor to talk about his time at City Hall, his accomplishments, and what the future holds. In the home of the longest serving mayor in Green Bay's history, it's time to reminisce. I've had some great experiences and I think there's some new ones coming. About what's been accomplished, what lies ahead, and how the journey ever started. I just felt the city could be doing more. I felt the city could be doing better. In October of 2002, Jim Schmidt, a small business owner and Brown County supervisor, announced his intent to run for mayor. Really appreciate your support and for all of you taking the time off to be here today. And six months later, he was elected. Kind of as, a, as an unknown a little bit, but um, that's what I wanted to do and um, I'm, it was the best decision I've ever made. In that first term, Jim Schmidt connected with families, founding Kids Day, a citywide celebration with a parade and free events, now held each June 25th. We've won awards for that, and, um, and we have over 10,000 kids that participate in that every year, which is pretty cool. While turning his attention to the city's downtown, the start of an effort that will likely define his career. It wasn't getting the investment in it. Quite honestly, it wasn't getting the respect that, that we deserved as a city. So. Um, that was a top priority for me. Under Schmidt's administration, downtown development blossomed with investments north of a quarter billion dollars from the city deck serving up fun along the Fox. That was a catalyst. We needed that city deck. To an expanded KI Convention Center, Schreiber Foods, city deck landing and metro apartments, and special programming like the Farmer's Market on Broadway and Fridays on the Fox, projects that Mayor Schmidt says have created a vibrant downtown sought after by young professionals. We knew that if we were going to be a, a community that was going to attract talented individuals to come and work here and buy homes and invest that, you know, we needed to offer them something unique. One development Schmidt fought to prevent a proposed Walmart within the Broadway district. A rezoning request for land on the former Larson Green ultimately rejected by city council. A superstore Walmart with 600 surface parking spots is not this unique, vibrant, healthy downtown that attracts and retains talent. And one development Schmidt is most proud of, the Hotel Northland, which opened in February after years of legal stops and starts and a decade of planning. That Hotel Northland is, is really going to uh, pay some big dividends in the future for Green Bay. As a politician, Schmidt says he's not perfect, narrowly surviving a vote by city council in 2017 to remove him from office after pleading guilty to three misdemeanor campaign finance violations. That was a tough time, you know, and, and look, that was right in this house. It was some um, not detailed bookkeeping with you know seven people who gave over the amount of of a thousand dollars over a four year period. And look, I accept that, and I pleaded guilty to it. I said, look, I'm sorry this happened. It won't never happen again. But Mayor Schmidt says it was an issue that some on the council simply wouldn't let go of. I thought some other people on the council kind of uh, it really made hay of that and brought it up again and again and wanted to retry me and it was, that was the difficult thing. I signed up for the job and um, that's the way it is and I accept it. But soon, the responsibilities of the mayor's office will end for Jim Schmidt, who attended over 500 events each year representing the city, who often worked days on end to make sure budgets were balanced and projects would succeed, who always looked for ways to improve the Green Bay community. His mind is always working and thinking about how he could make it better, and he made his decisions always based on what was right for Green Bay. What do you want people to remember about your administration? He was a little maybe tenacious at times or um, kind of a stronger personality, but at the end of the day, he loved the city and I, that's what I hope people do is they love Green Bay as much as I do. That'd be awesome. And the mayor says the future is unknown, but he's made the decision to not make a decision for the next 100 days. In his time as mayor, he's also supported the rail yard and shipyard projects currently under development within the Broadway district.